How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Saturday night. It is the Earth Master out here, 9.49 p.m. That's California time, February 1st, 2025. Uh, latest activity here shows a continued swarm around the uh, GNC area. Got a four-pointer and a 3.2 in the last hour, along with, as you can see, a, a pretty decent swarm of earthquake activity. And just going to zoom in here to the area of interest. That's from the EMSC model showing all the earthquake activity very close in proximity to a, uh, a volcano region that sits down here to the southwest. Now the USGS map here showing a, uh, well, it's a Sea of Crete, a GNC a little bit further up north, but this area is where the swarm has taken place. Um, and this 4.6 or 4.4 here, a little bit to the southeast of the area of interest but most of the earthquake activity happening in a cluster here around this volcano. Now it's the, uh, I mean, what's that called? Uh, Minoan. Minoan? I believe that's right. Missy Mimi's is here, by the way, in the background. Minoan. Minoan. I believe that's right. Okay, anyway, uh, it was a catastrophic volcanic eruption that devastated the Aegean island of Santorini back in 1600. Uh, destroyed, uh, well, quite a bit of communities out there. It was a pretty violent eruption. And um, looks like maybe this thing could be getting geared up here. Or at least uh, uh, close to it, potentially. Uh, the current Santorini volcano level is at a level one. So no new... Um, no new interest in it in terms of any uh, unusual activity noted here from the Volcano Discovery site. But uh, obviously it's a decent earthquake swarm and it's continuing. You know, it's uh, definitely got some, uh, some in, uh, got me interested in here on what's going on. If it was more along the plate boundary out here spread out in the sequence, I'd be uh, thinking that this is, tectonic stress but this could be some type of uh, volcano activity underneath this region here so we're gonna have to watch out pretty closely got a, a a decent cluster of earthquakes here and this is just the last 24 hours alone if we go back the last couple days it adds more last two weeks there uh, even more to the map so a lot of activity stirring up here around the Sea of Crete and specifically around the uh, Santorini area you can see the volcanic features there. This normally explodes out of the center, leaving uh, the islands here around it. Here's a satellite view uh, of this area. Might be getting geared up here. That was uh, wow, a long time ago, 1600, right? So we'll continue to watch it. There is a, uh, looks like some type of underwater. Let me see what we got here. Maybe a seamount here, it looks like right in this area you can barely see it uh, on this map but anyway it, we're gonna watch out pretty closely see if uh, things don't calm down or maybe they might uh, pick back up but even in the last hour alone we're looking at some elevated seismic activity out there and uh, it's very noticeable very very noticeable out there again nothing showing up there in terms of any uh, you know specific volcanic activity just say a decent swarm and they do mention it here on the volcano discovery website and yeah, let's see what we got here this was put out i believe this morning maybe a day or so ago looking at all that earthquake activity fairly deep as well there's a few surface uh, earthquakes either way it's a broad cluster uh, of earthquake activity roughly between 5 and 25 kilometers deep Uh, all right, so we'll check back on that uh, and see what happens. Either way, could have some interesting activity popping off there soon. Uh, check out the West Coast, see what's going on. Uh, Northern California rocking and rolling slightly up here across the southern end of the Cascadia, including ones up here on the map now. That uh, wasn't, wasn't happening before. I, I don't know if somebody complained or maybe they finally decided to... Um, put the smaller quakes on here but ever since a seven pointer there back in december we've had a number of earthquakes showing up there not on the graph 
not on the model here, but obviously on the graph itself. Uh, and they just failed to report a lot of the ones. But it looks like they're doing okay now in terms of reporting that. That's what we have there for now up around the Mount Rainier area. A little bit of swarming going on off on the western side. Very small earthquake activity. Cascadia subduction zone. Let's double check that real quick. Um, check out the trimmer map, which consists of 92 epicenters up here across the uh, uh, Washington area. Nothing big going on down uh, across the area for now. Uh, the rest of California, some minimal movement out there across the region. Nothing big in terms of 2.5 and above. Got a little three-pointer out here across the area of Yerington, Nevada. This is where that five-pointer struck here a uh, number of weeks back. Shaking things up out there. Quite a bit of aftershock sequences there uh, following that five-pointer. As you can see, 186 just in the last 30 days alone. Uh, extreme Southern California, a couple smaller microquakes there. Really nothing major happening for now. And uh, the rest of the country, pretty quiet. Let's go ahead and double check Yellowstone, see what we have for the latest map. Which, uh, not a whole lot going on here. Pretty quiet out there. Really not seeing any earthquake activity showing up across the board. And the rest of the globe out here, or at least the rest of the flat scale model Earth, model Earth there. Uh, 5.1 is going to be the largest quake here in the last 24 hours. Nothing big happening yet, but, uh, you know, it's it's still early. So let's do a quick uh, a quick visual here of January time period. We're going to include today's events as well. There's, you know, a couple fives, but nothing big. In comparison to last year, I want to see how the first month... Uh, has um, played out in comparison to uh, January of last year. So let's go over here, 2024. Put this up here. 01, 2024, and then we'll go up to... Uh, we'll just go ahead and include... Uh, we better go down one. And see what happens. Let's go to the world, search this, just do a little quick comparison. Well, 628 epicenters in the month of January alone last year. That's a decent number. 628 uh, with the largest magnitude of 7.5 out there across the western coast of Japan. Two seven pointers there in the month of January, quite a few sixes as well. So, in comparison, uh, to this year, right? 4.5 and above. That's what I'm showing. Looks like a lot less. 521. Compared to, what's the number over here again? 628. So, you know, looking at comparison from this January to last January of 2024, a huge drop. Big time number drop there. And, of course, we got the uh, 7.1 being the largest magnitude out here so far across the uh, area of Tibet, north of the Himalayas. So we'll see how the rest of uh, the rest of the year goes. You never know. Could be uh, picking up here shortly. That's a decent number, 628. That, oh, almost 100 more earthquakes at 4.5 and above uh, during the month of January of 2024. Pretty crazy. All right, uh, real quick glance here at the rest of the model. Some movement down there across the Ethiopia rift boundary. Nothing big happening there for now. Uh, same for the rest of the globe out here. We're finally starting to fill in across the western area here of the Aleutian Trench, right off the coast of Japan or of uh, Russia. Uh, the Kuro Kamchatka Trench here, getting a 4.4 earlier this evening. Still watching this region right about here, lacking some earthquake activity. But got a pretty good cluster of earthquakes here across the Aleutian Trench uh, recently. Keep an eye on this area, though. Goodness, that's just a lot of earthquake activity. Let's check out space weather real quick. See what we have going on. Pretty calm. Uh, I'm not for sure why this is still uh, elevated. I, I dropped mine down there to, um, I think, uh, 5 or 1%. I, I really don't see any... Uh, any noteworthy areas here for X flare activity. 
Uh, everything's starting to stabilize or decay. Main area of interest might be right about here, but um, all these other ones are, man, just not active. And even so, this area being somewhat magnetically complex, I don't see any X flare potential from that sunspot. Be lucky if we get a, another M flare. Uh, no major roars there in the forecast. Some unsettled conditions here from last night and tonight due to some high speed solar wind stream that's been uh, hitting the planet. Yeah, as massive as that is, it's just not a whole lot of complexity uh, within that, uh, within these spots here. All right, uh, let's see what we got. Got a big storm out here across Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. Pretty windy out here, expecting uh, gusts up to about 50 miles per hour here uh, where I'm at. So hopefully the power stays on and the stream stays up. Got more rain headed into Northern California here over the next few days. And um, looks like a return of some cold conditions out here for the uh, uh, east of the Rockies here. We got some ice and snow across Oklahoma and Texas once again as we head into not this coming week but next week got uh, some cold air dipping back down there so winter's not over yet uh, for the folks out there a lot of cold air hanging out here look at all that crazy <coughs> all right let's see nothing major going on across the seismograph stations everything looks calm for now, 2.4 up into the Alaska area. We'll keep an eye on the uh, potential volcanic activity out there. I mean, I'm surprised it's not making a lot more news uh, than it is. I don't see a whole lot of people covering this, but there's definitely something brewing out here. That's for sure. And uh, it looks like it's escalating as we go on. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good night. We'll catch you guys out here for the uh, Sunday morning update. Take care.